Jesus. Celebration. Let's testify, please. Go ahead. As you are listening, the miracle power of God will still touch you. Go ahead. Mama, you can speak. In your bed, Jesus. In your bed, Jesus. No, me, me, I can't, ma. Da be cro Gladys. Sute. No, we, we, bo, we. Kem a lo sale a can't, ma. Ma be. No, me, si la lo a can't, ma. No, be cro e. I didn't be in a camera, eh? I did you point and do a no more camera. I had a song in my woman, a tongue, I've been in my eh. Bemen, a tongue, I've been in my eh. I was in Zua, in a cigalo, in me, that kia, about two mamma, in all my bakia. So, so I may do the way, but it that I may battle, suck or dead, and do a women, little ama, a mea key. It's a mark on anybody, call it permanent. May I see as I do, can I do, Nama, may I see any Piero Dona, Ebu Be Jesus. We want to interpret her, please, okay. quickly. Come up, you can. All right, go ahead. Our sister's name is Adi Sute. She had problem with her left leg over a year now, that she could not move without a clutch, this uh, the hand clutch. But just during this program two days ago, the Lord touched her, and now she can move without the crosses. Praise the Lord. the Lord. Your hallelujah look cold. I said, praise the Lord. Our Lord is great. Mama, go and enjoy your freedom. The next testifier. The power of God will locate you while you are there. All right. After this. Go ahead, Mama. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. she cannot walk. And I say, how can you come to this place? People are receiving their miracle. And you just stay there like that. Say, no, that you cannot go back home with this sickness. She can't stand up. She cannot walk. She was just there. And I say, sister, so after when I finished the, after when I finished the thing I was doing, and I walked to her, I say, sister, stand up. Sister, stand up. Stand up. Stretch your leg. Stretch. And she started to do it. Immediately, she, before I know, she started running. And she was not able to do any other thing. I said, may the name of the Lord. Because I told her that she is not going to leave this place without having a miracle. Praise the Lord. 
Mama, go and enjoy your miracle in Jesus' name. Amen. After this, we go online. After this, next one, please. After this, online. Online. Let's clap for Jesus. Let your clapping be heard over there in Kano. Be heard over there in other nations. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I, I was at the cluster 45. So immediately after the prayer, I saw Papa sitting down. And then I said, Papa, stand up. He said, the waist is locked. He cannot sit down. And even as he was sitting, he was bending like this. I said, Papa, you can't. I started encouraging him, encouraging him for like two minutes. And then he stood up. I said, you can't walk. He took the first step. He started walking gradually, gradually. And then from cluster 45, he walked by himself, raising his hand up and down, and he walked to this place. And I believe he was... Praise the Lord! Place. Your hallelujah is not long enough. Let's hold on. We want to go online. Online. The man... Can, all right. Can the man talk for himself? Okay, go ahead, sir. Nobody has been in your new temple. I got both walking to my temple. Pierce on Duck King. Get him with the new I do. Nam Dassi wear. I loom a martyr day. I loom no one was a man. I come to Kia Crusader. Hey, I'm Mendy. Mamma Kian born Nam Ducky. I can't under the total. Three years ago. Praise the Lord. All right. We can see the man walking now. We can see him walking. You can see him. Doctor, briefly explain to us. Quickly. For over three years, for over three years now, I has not been able to move this way because of a lumbar spondylosis he had over three years, over three years ago. But just this evening, after the prayer of the man of God, the Lord touched him. Lord pick him up, and now you can see him moving. He has not moved like this for about three years now, but this is the first time he's moving this way. It's spondo, uh, lumbar spondylosis he had over three years ago. Lumbar spondylosis, anything they call it, is gone in Jesus' name. <laughs> Clap for Jesus. Online testimony now. Silence. The but online, there is power walking everywhere as we take you first to the social media quickly. Media, the great things the Lord is doing, it's so marvelous. This is coming from Victor Bassi from Aqua Ibom State, Nigeria. According to him, he's been battling with lusting and masturbation for a very long time. But tonight, he came to realization of his state, and according to him, he got his deliverance. He got converted. He got his salvation, and now he is free from all of those dirty habits. Now we'll take you to Lagos, Nigeria. Lagos live. Press, 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 press the Lord. Press the living Jesus. The Lord is good. I said the Lord is good. He's good to me and he's good to you. My name is Adi Eyegbenga. I'm living at number 31, Alaji Adam Street, Ejigo, Lagos. Praise the Lord. By the special grace of God, I'm born again. I have two testimonies to share this evening to the glory of God and to the shame of the devil. Praise God. Last year, when I, I just discovered I slept, then in the morning to wake up, I discovered that my right hand uh, is life, was lifeless. I can't, I don't understand. I can't raise it up. My hand, could, I can't do anything. Ah, what is going on? Then I woke up my wife. I said, I don't understand. I began to shiver. In fact, I said, I don't understand. What is going on? What is happening? Do I have stroke? What is going on at, at this age? So I was so fearful. Then my wife said, maybe I slept on it. Then the following morning, they rub it, they do everything, yet to no avail. Then I went to the hospital. In the hospital, 
They ask me to do massage. They do one test or the other. Everything zero. I'm almost four or five days. Then I went to the doctor bone at the NFPC. Then that one said he's going to give me a captain bandage. Then he bandaged my hand and uh, he asked me to be coming. And I'll be coming. I'll be going there. I'll be going there. No afraid. Nothing. There's no change. I begin to be fearful. And to the nature of my work, I need to carry something. Right hand for that matter. So I just... And when I took all the medication they gave me, then I left it there. I began to come to this, uh, to this crusade. I, what I want to know is that in a wonderful way, God just did it. And my hand began to work very well and perfectly. Up to today, I don't feel it. In fact, I don't feel it. It is working perfectly. No man. Praise the Lord. The Lord and will do your own. And from Lagos, we'll take you quickly to Anambra State. Southeastern Nigeria, a number state live. Church, praise the Lord. My name is Amara, Uramaru Tamarachi. I'm from Heritage District, Onisha region. Akumeba Kanku Tia Chukumerum during the GCK on July. On February 23rd this year, I got an accident, Neben Naror. I came in my first, now my niece and uncle joint. And when this location, since I was in the name of Musubu, it's in a chroma gauge. Even now, all the years stop from the bank. Over every rotation at this July program, I'm just a church. After prayer, I said, I am a one million match. I said, I'm going to get a soldier. Man, I did in a chroma gauge. I said, I'm going to get a soldier with faith. So, I did in the one million match. After the one million match, join the program. The thing uh, we don't know about another pain, sir. Because move a marriage and where you can know one day without him or go. And where they go, man, and all in a brugo my customers. Every day, man, go go three times daily. Even sometimes, now two times. Still, I depend too much on my leg. But after that program, till today, I'm healed. Church, join me and praise God. God have delivered. God have healed me. Especially even the sickness I've been having before. Now I'm free. Praise the Lord. Our sister is satisfying of God's healing upon her body. That February this year, she got an accident. And uh, the accident affected her bones and ankle that she cannot be able to walk freely. In fact, she has made herself to be customers to medicine party dealers. Every day, three times in a day, she will be taking drugs. And she has been passing through this particular problem for a long time, until July edition of GCK Global Crusade. During that time, she decided to uh, go along with the people of one million man match for the publicity of the July edition. And after that particular exercise, and when she come back, in fact, everything was healed. And today, she is healthy and healthy. Praise the Lord. Let's it's back praise the Lord. to the moderating overseer. Next testifier, please. Can you give us a little song while that is coming on? Let's be smart about it. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Esther John. I'm from Gokana. I live at LMI. I watch like Deeper Light Church, Church 2. During the Trion Fund program, I have a healing. In fact, it was affecting me and my family. Scratching of body for complete five months. 
and I've taken drugs, native, taken drugs and taken be tired. So they say I should go for a test. I go for a test and take English medicine. Taking it and be taking injection. I got tired. I was asking God, what kind of sickness is this? I do not understand. People are telling me it's poison. It's poison. I say, who will poison me? Is that a problem with any person? God, you know. So when the program come up, I told my children that this kind of challenge, I do not understand. We must attend this program till the end, and I know I will receive my healing. Because God has been doing it for people, and he will do it for me. So anyhow, we are late. We will go. Sometimes we will go. They have dismissed me. I say we must go to the end of this program. At the end of this program, even when I will go, when I will sit down, I will be scratching my body everywhere, my bum. But where they will say, touch where I is paining you. When the man of God will say, where is paining you, touch it. I will say, God, where will I touch it now? Everywhere is paining me and scratching me. You know, God, heal me. So at the end of this program, I got my healing. Just like that. Even Prastamon, I did not take me and my family, both just my like husband, that. Just everybody. Like that. Just like I that. thank God. Make, make just God like that. Clap for Jesus. Just like that, it went up. Is that the much you can clap for Jesus? <laughs> Doctor, very snappy. Itching of that affect every member of the family, but it could be from allergy, it could be a bacteria, it could be from fungi. But God, in his own wisdom, and who knows the very cost of the problem, healed the family in the last, uh, in the February edition of GCK. Praise the Lord. Next, next, please. Church, praise the Lord. I'm back again. My name is Patience Donald Igorebu. I worship at Wikabari Group of Districts. I am here to testify the goodness of God upon my life. When I was 13 years old, I discovered moving objects from my chest to my throat. And whenever this thing comes up, brethren, you will pity me. Sometimes I endure the pains. I have taken a lot of medication to no avail. But yesterday, this thing do normally comes up every week. Sometimes I will not tell anyone that I'm having that pains. When it comes, it is only God. So yesterday, this thing, I prayed, I said, God, I will not live here with this thing. I will lay all at the feet of Jesus. Yesterday, it wanted to come up, and it could not come. Today, as the man of God was praying, I laid my hand on my chest and my throat. This thing was disturbing me. But after the final amen, there is something about it. For over 24 years today, brethren, I felt something like a mighty hand that struck my chest, and I felt something was going out of my chest. Brethren, praise the Lord. He's gone. This is what the Lord has done for me. I say and I gone. say, may his name alone be highly exalted forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Doctor, you are anything to tell briefly. The condition of having a uh, moving object in the throat. It's called a global sensation or global pharynges. And it could be from anxiety, it could be from stress. It could just be something like that. This is common in, uh, with some people. But this night, God touched her, and that sensation has gone. Praise the Lord. It will not come back. Praise the Lord. My name is Webar Christopher. I'm from St. District. I want to thank God for what God has done in my life. That was on Thursday when the man of God was preaching. As you are seeing me today, God has done a great thing in my life. I was a sinner. God touched me. That was on Thursday. He blows something from my heart. He takes something from my heart. <laughs> The Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost in heaven, touch my heart and take away something. And what the Lord does for me, He will do it for you in Jesus' name. If the greatest miracle that has taken place. And the Bible, the Bible that says, What shall a man gain from this? 
God. What shall it profit a man that you get from this world and lost your soul? I tell you today, come to Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are not responding the way I like it. I said, praise the Lord. The Lord has helped us tonight. Let's listen to the announcement again. By tomorrow, by the special grace of God, the crusade continues. For those of us, workers and ministers and professionals, we are having our conference in Kensarawewa Polytechnic. Seven o'clock dot, you are there. And then in the evening by five, the crusade continues. Please let's ensure that we come with some other persons and the Lord God will bless us in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who gave their life to Christ tonight and other previous days, by tomorrow, 3 p.m., on this ground by my left hand side, there is a program for you, not just deeper life program per se. As a Christian, you need to be taught and grounded in the Lord. Let's rise up together and say, God, thank you for what you have done, for what our eyes are beholding. These are days of his power, and the people shall be willing. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because of what you have done. Thank you for our beloved apostle, our Father and the Lord, our mentor, our teacher, that you have raised up in this end time global harvest of souls. We pray, O oh Lord, that Amen. you will lift him up higher and you will use him more during this program and all the other subsequent ones. All that you have healed, you are saved. Lord, all our experiences will remain intact. We are going home now to come back tomorrow. You preserve and keep us. Thank you for all those who are laboring in the media, in the ushering, and every other session of the work that made this program a reality and a success. Thank you, Lord, because you have And all over the globe, Lord, take the glory and the honor. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. A resounding global amen. God bless you. We are come to a close and good night.